What's up guys, Sleeps here with another episode of My Journey to an Ultimate Team and we start this episode off going straight into a match and we come across this guy who had uh, pretty poor chemistry, only 38 and uh, but he seemed like he had decent stats overall, the chemistry was just really what was killing him and it was a mixture of players, a couple of French chemistry here and there, you know you got some Prem players in there, I, I just thought this guy's team was just really all over the place and right here we open up the scoring through a pretty sweaty goal, I know but it was the first goal, I just wanted the lead I'm, I'm gonna do anything to get that first goal every time and uh, this next goal came from Guthrie very nice roulette and then look at that for a finish nice long shot outside the box uh, right after doing a skill move so he showed good control that was a pretty good goal there from Guthrie and uh, right here he gets himself a goal I guess this is uh, kind of getting back at me for tramping him kind of gets a bit of a trampy cross off and Balotelli finishes that nicely uh, with a pretty good volley you know not too much to complain about there and uh, right here we play it to Guthrie Guthrie cuts back in another great finish from Guthrie a uh, nice finesse shot you know silver players sometimes can just come off come up with just fantastic finishes that was a really good finish from him under pressure and all and uh, our next one comes from to as a result of a corner really uh, you know it falls to Guthrie Guthrie just calmly passes it to Cleverly and we all know Cleverly has a great shot on him and Cleverly finishes that one uh, very nicely so we have three goals from our midfielders this game uh, they're very good to see different uh, variety of goal scorers and uh, this is why Jackson's Jackson is a beast right there you see him fighting off everybody he finally gets this possessed but I felt he deserved a goal so I pass it back up to him and Jackson of course you know this guy does not miss any chances and he finishes that very comfortably right before halftime so uh, at this point we got our max goal bonus but I just felt like pushing on for more and more goals and a uh, great shot there from Bannon again our uh, our other midfielder scoring uh, Bannon's left foot is amazing I mean he has such a good shot on him with that left foot it really is very very good and cleverly scoring uh, with the header, I'd sent him on a run, pass it out wide to Naughton, Naughton cross it in, and cleverly manages to head that one home. Again, another midfielder scoring. I didn't even realize how many of my midfielders had scored this game. Uh, but look at that goal. That was a very nice goal. At this point, you know, he could he had kind of given up the morale. His morale was pretty much broken, and we're on a break there with Sinclair, Rainbow Flick, and uh, there it is. It went in from the pass from Jackson afterwards, and there you go, Sinclair. Again, at this point, I kind of went for some long shots. Sinclair, you know, I was trying to go for nicer goals at this point because I had such a comfortable lead. And Sinclair there with a very nice long shot. And Sinclair again, he's over here, advanced rainbow flick, and then volleys it in. And uh, I know a lot of you guys were, I was reading in the comments of last episode, you guys that were like, no, Miyachi, why? And I mean, come on, Sinclair, I could not be happier to have Sinclair on my team. He is an absolute beast. And Oxley Chamberlain right there scoring a beautiful long shot so showing that he can score the long shots as well uh, so we had a couple of nice goals that game uh, well I shouldn't say a couple I mean we scored 11 goals against this guy he got absolutely uh, destroyed cleverly with man of the match and we pick ourselves up 972 coins to advance with uh, yeah 11-1 win that is a pretty uh, lopsided win right there it's that chemistry chemistry absolutely killing them with this squad I come across a lot of teams with low chemistry because I'm at a four star rating and a lot of people are just building up their teams in that. And here's another example. Very low chemistry. It's just because of the four-star rating I have. A lot of people are... I've come across a lot of low gold-rated teams with bad chemistry. Uh, anyhow, this guy was actually a subscriber. He messaged me uh, during the game uh, telling me that he was a sub. But uh, I guess he was building up his team. And uh, right there, we scored with Sinclair. Very weird finish. And uh, here, the ball's like kind of just bouncing all over the place here in the snow after it was saved. And cleverly, again, with another long shot. This is exactly what I want to see. This is like a uh, very consistent from Cleverly. Now, you know, at first I had my doubts, but lately he's been scoring a lot, a lot of goals, getting forward well. And uh, right here, this is a good goal from Bannon. Bannon in off the post at the keeper's near post, comes off, and then it rolls in. A uh, great finish there from Bannon. And then after this, I guess it's just a matter of time. You know, if this is just inevitable. I don't think there's a single person in the in in this world who has played fifa 12 and not had this happen to them what, what's going on here guys it's the ea circle of death and we lost the connection to the ea server so that's a loss for us dnf goes down i mean it just happens every so often it, it there really is no avoiding it it's just it just happens no matter what so we move on to the next match and this guy was building a very unique team you know 4-4-1-1 an all peruvian squad i have never seen anybody make a peruvian team so that, that was good to see a very different squad i've never seen a peruvian team and he actually scored first there through Farfan 
a very powerful shot at my keeper's near post. Keeper couldn't quite get there, so uh, he scored himself a pretty good goal. And then we play this through to Jackson. Jackson, you know, he's a, he's our big man up front, and he makes sure we don't stay down for long. So Jackson equalizing in the 30th minute, and uh, we push on. We're over here on the ball with Jackson again. Sinclair's all by himself, unmarked, and uh, Sinclair puts it away to cap off the counterattack. And uh, he actually scored three minutes after Jackson, so we equalized, and then pretty much straight after that. Uh, came for the lead and here's a good delivery from Bannon I mean there's not really much he could do except watch that go in Sinclair all he has to do is really nod that in Sinclair is definitely not good in the air but I think anybody any player at all would have scored that header very easy to nod in and then Chamberlain we passed it to him on his left peg and right into the top left corner no chance for you keeper so at this point you know we had a comfortable lead but, but, you know, he was scoring goals over here, and then I was trying to force him offside. It was very awkward right there, my defending, and Guerrero gets himself on the score sheet, and uh, he, he uh, brought his deficit down one. And uh, here's another corner delivered in. Great deliveries from Bannon lately, finding Oxlade Chamberlain, and Chamberlain scoring that one nicely. Uh, but here we go again. We pass this up to Sinclair, and I guess, I don't know, was this unnecessary? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that was unnecessary. Kind of a trampy goal a little bit. Jackson scoring that one, putting it away. And uh, right here, he gets another one, but it was very weird. I tackled with the one person with a slide tackle, and then uh, the other person stood tackled. Like, he just stepped forward, and it knocked it right to him. And Guerrero again scored. I couldn't do much about that right there once that once my uh, defender pretty much gifted him the ball right back. Uh, so we win that one. We only get ourselves like 700 and some odd coins just because our DNF is back down. And that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, next episode, I have two signings for you guys. I'm kind of excited to show who they are. Uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Uh, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.